Cage Mines, Michael Frankel, we're at a Trisco Boxing, Trisco Kid, Fidel Maldonado Jr. joins us. Thank you for the time, sir. Thank you for having me. So, you had a loss on the big stage, you came back home, you collected a pair of wins, and now it's heading back out to Palm Springs, California, a big stage, and Art H, who I'm not going to try to even murder his last name by saying it, opponent standing in front of you, 17-2-2, two and two, I believe. How much of a step up in competition is this for you? Because last fight, Michael Clark didn't look like he wanted to be there after he felt one punch from you. Uh, he has a big step up. This guy's never been stopped. Uh... He's right in front of you, right in front of your face. So I'm expecting a tough fight, but that's what we're working for. How fun for you is that? Someone that's going to stand there and trade with you right in front of your face, that's right where you want him. Uh, we've been working bo um, boxing and uh, using my skills, so you can see a whole new me, not just sitting in front banging. So this is the Fidel that your dad's always wanted to see, you not just banging and out, not getting these crazy brawls, but using these technical skills that you've perfected through the amateur ranks. Yeah, I'm coming back to that, um, you go there to me box, I actually use my skills to just sit in front of the bank and see who wins there. So, with the two wins, getting two quick ones up in Buffalo Thunder, Low Brownfield, Michael Clark, what's the confidence level like for you? I'm on top of the world right now, I'm getting through this guy's only going to get it higher, but I learned from my losses not to get the head, so I'm always at a certain point, but um, I always have confidence in my skills. Now, we know it was a long time ago you had dealt with the injuries and everything, and you think back to the adversity and now the fighter you've become? Um, I'm a whole different person than I was then. I was immature then. Uh, I had a big head, I got humbled once, and then I thought I'd beat better as everyone thinks I did. But then I got in a good role again, and then we took that Imam fight on a week and a half notice, almost two weeks, and went and fought him, lost, and you know, was trying to win again. And hopefully we're going to stay winning this time. Stay winning. Art, he comes stays in your face. What is the most dangerous aspect he's bringing in this fight? Uh, probably he's, he's awkward. Uh, he's knocked out uh, one of the other local guys that used to box. Knowing that he beat Archie Ray and looking at that, was that something you look back like, oh yeah, you're, I've seen this guy fight, I know of him? Yeah, I've seen him since then, but I've seen he can be out boxing. Also, I think I'm going to hit too hard for him and he can be able to eat my shots like he does everybody else's. So we're talking about you feel that your technical, your angles, your footwork's going to be better and then he's just not going to want to eat the power? Yeah, I, once I get him stepping back, I don't think he's going to last that long. And then, like we said, it was here locally. Does it feel like you're getting back to a big show? This one's out in California, another big main event for you? Well, I'm the co-main okay. on uh, Estrella TV or something like that. It's the Spanish channel. But, yeah, I'm getting back up there. I'm going to work my way back up to the main event. And do you feel, what do you feel is why is it the right time now for you, for Fidel Maldonado to make his run to put everything together to get back towards a world title? I'm starting to mature, starting to come into my prime and uh, my best years right now coming up. So you want to stay tuned. And then we also know that you got the other work in line, the barbershop. So instead of cutting people up with those punches, how's cutting hair doing? Cutting hair is fun. I also have my brother, Rick Barbarian, out there helping me out. And uh, it's fun to get to meet a lot of different people. And it also helps with my boxing, it helps me get more fans. And then we talked about we're here at Trisco Boxing. And we've seen the gym blowing up, the biggest boxing gym in New Mexico right now, easily with all the guys. What, what else has it been like for you seeing this, you know, growing it, your home, growing this so big and getting it so recognized with everybody doing work every weekend, it seems like? Um, no, it is, it's great. It's great for my dad and Manuel and my other trainer, Ron, uh, because they all, all of these guys in here work with all of them. So from, it's from working out to working out in the mornings to working out at night, we're all, we're all helping them, even me, uh, to help out with like little things like, hey, don't do this, or you should try this. And they'll do it with me, so we all help each other out. It's a good thing. So we all stay learning here.
So how does that help you when you get in there? You're like, oh, I was just telling him not to do that. How does it help you mine, you know, and stay to your uh, basics? Yeah, it, it helps out a lot, honestly. It's just, um, like, I'll tell him not to do something, and then I'm dumb, and I go in there and do exactly what I told him not to do. I'm like, hey, I just told him not to do this. I shouldn't be doing this. So it helps out in that way that it clicks right away. And then on the heels of this past week, Lynn, we saw Canelo Alvarez with a huge knockout. What do you think of the momentum for boxing as a landscape as a whole? Uh, it's going good right now, but I think uh, Canelo should fight Triple G next. As a boxer yourself, do you agree with me that's the most exciting fight that could be made right now? One of them. Uh, I want to see one of my favorite fighters, Andre Ward, fight Kovalev. Isn't that one supposed to be in the... It's supposed to be in the fall, but I guess they're going to get a fight in the summer. That's what I was hearing. And then fight in the fall. But that's the one I'm most excited for right now. So even you as a pro boxer, do you almost get a little tired of the politics and the negotiating for fights to happen? Kind of, yeah. It's just like people want more, more money, more money, more money. But it ain't like back in the day when... Oh, I want to fight you, so they fought. That's the kind of fighter I am. I want to fight someone, well, let's fight. I don't negotiate the money, I let my dad handle all that. And uh, I just go in there and fight. And your answer is just yes? Yep, to anyone. <laughs> and then who do you got to shout out to? Who do you got to thank right now? Uh, right now, just shout out to uh, all my team, uh, Trisco Boxing. Shout out to Red Barbarian, Taz. Uh, more sponsors coming out, they're coming soon, so I can't shout anyone out right now besides those couple ones. And uh, just thanks to all the fans, I love you guys. And then one more time, where was your fight going to be televised? Uh, Straya TV. If you guys know that channel, check it out. May 20th, the Del Malnado Jr. Thank you for the time.